In my not always humble opinion, I think that the two most tragic figures in the New Testament are Judas and Herod, for similar but for distinct reasons. Judas, because he could not understand that there was literally nothing outside of Christ's unconditional love and mercy that could heal him. And instead, he despaired. And Herod, because he was so afraid of what he did that it would become seen in the light, and he was so afraid of the light that rather than see it as a chance for healing and mercy, he saw the presence of a Messiah as one that would lead to his demise and his death. Going back to Judas, we always have to remember that there is absolutely nothing that can separate us from the love of Christ if we simply turn to that love and repent. That no matter how far we feel we've fallen into the pit, there's nothing that his love can't heal. And in regards to Herod, we never need to be afraid that the light of Christ shines upon us. Even though it may reveal our deepest faults, and even though we may not want to deal with those faults because they're just too darn hard, when that love enters into our midst, when we allow it to shine on our lives, then and only then can we finally begin to change and become who we were called upon to be and model the image and the love of God back to the world. Our faith, absolutely everything we do, is based on the ability to trust that we can be changed, that we can be converted, that we can repent. Epiphany is a pretty good feast to remember that reality and to allow the light that came into the world to change us.